Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Midnight Red! And you're on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey, guys, it's Story from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with the guys from Midnight Red. Woo! 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 How are you guys doing today? Amazing. Very good. You Very good. seem pretty hyper right now, which I was not expecting. Got to admit, it has everything to do with the fact that we've been every in every cold city America has to offer, and we are finally in Orlando, and it's sunny, and you can... Sun? I totally thought oh, it was because of the food. Like, we were like, all right, sound check. And it's like, catering's here! But well, what like, bothers you know. me is that everybody here in Orlando thinks it's really cold today. We do. Look at, yeah. we are like yeah. yin and yang right now. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, sweet, tank top time. <laughs> I have like three layers on. It's freezing to me, at least. Anyway, I mean, I'm wearing layers though. So. Okay, yes. well, we're all in this together then. We're well, we are gonna. We're all in this oh, no. together. <laughs> when we know that, that we are from the start, and then we see there. there. Miss you, Zach Efron. <laughs> yes, we do. And I'll finish the sentence for you guys. Now, the best prank you ever witnessed was when? Uh, I don't know if it's the best thing that's ever happened in the world, but we just pranked uh, Emblem 3. We ran on stage yesterday on at our show uh, that we're we had with them on their Chloe. Sound. Stage rushed them, it was good. We bum so, rushed them. Oh, very rushed good. Them. You guys do seem like pranksters, so it's no surprise that the last one was just yesterday. Right? Yeah. Because usually <laughs> people are like, totally yeah, sense. like 10 years ago I had a prank. So, I mean, just yesterday, you guys are on top of things. And we're, we're expecting them to, you know, bring back the fire. Oh, so no. Any, t any, any day Come now, out. it's coming. We, we actually tonight. we already have, like, another one lined up for Houston. So, oh, it'll yeah. be good. Oh, Secret yeah. Everybody Secrets. beware. And no, now the first it. concert you ever went to. Oh man! Speaking of, what were you saying about pranking? Oh. What prank? Oh, these guys jumped on stage with us last night. <laughs> so this is the payback. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna see. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, part, part one. <laughs> oh no. It's all a part of the process. This was the so guitar nice. superhero. <laughs> right now, uh, they are stealing the show right now. Featuring Emblem Three. Featuring Emblem Three, everybody. <laughs> Ladies. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> It's really good cookies. <laughs> really good cookies. Yeah, I'll catch it in my mouth. Don't worry. Here we go. Oh no. <gasps> Too big, though. Yeah, that's not your fault. Cookie number two. Oh, oh, no. All right, Never not an athlete. Right. All right, Sorry. moving on. We moving on. <laughs> so, okay, they just kind of pranked us back a little bit. As you see, this is an yeah. ongoing thing. Prank wars are happening. Well, in case you guys couldn't see what was just happening, because I don't think you saw, they just threw cookies at them. That's what just happened. Anyway, now the first concert you ever went to was. Each of you guys, I think, are gonna have different answers. For this. Destiny's Child, because I knew oh, one of the backup no dancers, good Can friends with them. So. And what's really cool awesome. about that is we heard Kelly Rowland just saw our music video for "Take okay, Me Home," yeah. and she enjoyed it. And so thank you, Kelly, and thank you for. Yeah, that's yeah, a that's a you. that's a full circle. People. <laughs> Definitely is. And now, what about you? Uh, mine was Britney Spears. Yeah, like a friend of mine was dancing for her, so he's like, "Come watch the show." And I was like, "Hell yeah!" Oh, you guys know like all the dancers here. You guys have some connections. I mean, I read. You know, we. You know. Yeah. Britney. I mean, you're all dancers too. So, it works. And what about you? Uh, when I was three years old, uh, my father took me to a Michael Jackson concert. Oh, let's see who's going to try and top yeah, that now, you right? Jealous. You can't. What about you? Well, Michael Jackson lives inside of me, so... Um, <laughs> anyways, my first concert, uh, my first real, real concert that I chose to go to was a Chris Brown concert. It was very fun. Oh, that's a cool Inspiring. one. Inspiring. Inspiring, very. Yeah, you're a fan. Uh, the first one that I really, really remember that I went like out of choice was Shakira. Oh. When I was young, which was a really good. <laughs> and impeccable impressions as well. And now you were the most starstruck when you met. Uh, um, Britney Spears for me. When I met uh, Britney Spears, that was like it was weird because we all grew up like you know '90s and we're super influenced by like NSYNC, Britney, Christina, all that. And so that was like you know your childhood, someone that was there, like just there in front of you it was really weird it was surreal yeah. you know what i mean it's like yeah. britney spears is in front of you that's normal yeah, we just you met the oh. Astro boys another 90s yeah, artist yeah. whoa yes. yeah yeah Very good. go ahead yeah we just recently met the man's the world's fastest man in the world usain bolt oh. that was really cool i wanted to race him but we couldn't so. <laughs> um, that would have been a sight to see 
Also, recently, uh, we were at our record label, Capital Records and 2101 Records, and uh, we were recording, and um, we were in the same floor as J-Lo, because she's, uh, lucky enough, she's a label mate of ours, and I remember, we didn't, like, officially meet her, but I just, like, 20 feet away, like, I, I can't believe she's that beautiful. I feel like I know that her anyway. Enough. Yeah. yeah. She, well, she almost she's ran into stunning. Joey and I, almost, so, uh, yeah. Almost. <laughs> almost, like, this close. Oh, my gosh, the rumors are Well, the funny. bragging rights forever I now. Yeah, I, I fell to my knees. It was so amazing. <laughs> And now the highlight of your career so far was when? The, I want to say recently yeah. Chicago, but we, we performed for 16,000 people at the Jingle ba- uh, Pepsi Jingle Bash, but we also came out with our new EP. That's yeah. a huge step for Midnight Red and towards the album. And so we're just really excited for people to hear it. So I feel yeah. like that's mm-hmm. a big point. Absolutely. The biggest day in our career for sure is the dropping of REP. Yeah. yeah, which we are going to talk about in a second, but we have one more finished sentence. Now, you guys have some crazy redheads, as you call your fans, so the craziest fan experience was when? Uh, is when uh, Wes there. lifted up his shirt yeah, to, uh, to flash us. And yeah, then oh, so did Keaton. There we go. Hey. Nipple! <laughs> that is the uh, craziest yeah, so fan experience. Day, because... Montreal fans <laughs> tend to be uh, a little bit above and beyond. Uh, we actually had one fan that was like really, really wanted a picture, and we were heading out of a venue, and she was like, "Nope, I'm gonna lay down in front of the van, and you're gonna take this picture until wow. you get out of the car and take or this." I thought it was endearing. So. I thought it was like the really old school, like tied to the train track sort of thing, you know. And I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? You're <laughs> awesome. Kind of Putting her do life in yeah. danger I for you. Like, there's yeah. something very romantic about it. So cinematic, you know? Yeah. yeah. But um, if you'd like, a but picture, you don't condone it. Ask. No, right. Don't condone it. No. Just making sure yeah. that you guys have a self-titled EP, as you guys yes. mentioned. Yeah. Big milestone for you guys, the Midnight Red EP. So could you tell us a little more about this for anybody who hasn't heard it yet? Uh, well, the um, executive producer of the EP and... Um, here, let me show you. Yeah, just so I'm not like... <laughs> Hi. Um, uh, is Red One, who's he's like a mentor to us, and he's obviously a musical genius. Um, and I'm we, genius. <laughs> I'm a genius, yeah, right? Kanye. Shout out to Kanye. Um, and we had such a blast recording it, and I think it's um, m- the music that we're most proud of to date. Like it's it's our proudest work, and we're really excited about it. And um, I love like we all love the direction that it, it started heading towards. And you know, Red One was so awesome to like. Let us input ideas, you know, collaboration wise, like, oh, like, you know, we kind of want to do this route and whatever and so it's just it's cool it's really awesome and you couldn't get any luckier luckier than to have red one yeah. you know on your side and we, Pretty we, amazing. we also have a great problem where we each have a different favorite song oh no so i think that means <laughs> so it's a pretty good ep yeah oh. so it's a mixture of like different like decisions of like which we want to go with or whatnot so it's a good problem to have i think though yeah you know? speaking of favorite songs i'd have to say the standout track to me is miss Firestarter. i think that song is so good wow. and so, yeah okay good we're we got this. So what was the musical and lyrical inspiration behind that song? Ooh, it's it's really much speaks for itself, you know. We're a, as a as a group, we're a very performance heavy, you know, group and we want something that will really, you know, um bring us to life on stage. We cannot wait to perform all the songs on the EP, but I cannot wait to perform Miss Firestarter because it's going to be so cool with the band. If Midnight also. Red if Midnight Red were a chick, I mean, that'd be Miss Firestarter. Yeah, and we've got oh, some fans yeah. out there that are just like above and beyond like the coolest people we've ever met, and we know that they're about to start some fire under the fandom of Midnight Red, the Redheads, and so it goes out to them too as well. So are you saying that this song is really dedicated to them? Yeah, so it's kind and of you. Like, if you like it, you're a Miss right. Firestarter. There we go. This works. And now you guys, all of your but songs seem to... don't arson. Not at no. all. Oh, okay. Do don't lay down in front fire. of cars. <laughs> don't start fires. I love fires. Though. PSA. Yeah, we need to make that clear. I yeah, suppose. Yes. Fire from within, the heart, <laughs> Ooh, the burning oh. love of passion and love. Ah, wow. this just got really deep. Oh, I know. Ring of fire. Ring of fire. I know all of your songs have very unique sounds. You know, you have some ballads, some dubstep kind of songs, pop songs. So, what music are you listening to right now that's influenced your style? Let's go down the line. I think because we're five different individuals and we all have different likes and we're so unique, like on our own, I think that's why you get so many different songs on the EP as far as like dubstep mm-hmm. and ballads go. But um, I grew up listening to like old school hip hop with my mom, so yeah. Yeah. And what about anybody else have anything to add to that? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a big, like, my favorite band's No Doubt. And oh. um, so, like, I'm a sucker for any upbeat and Where Did You Go? Like, that's my favorite. So, yeah. mm, 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 that upbeat reminds right. me of that, like, you know, the ska. Mm-hmm. 
kind of scene. So that's I, I love that, and that that's super influential. Even when I was recording the track, I was like, you know, keeping in, in mind like, oh, you know how you know it's how no jam, doubt would yeah. yeah, you know what I mean, like kind of channeling that. And I grew up with the funk, so it's like when when in Miss Firestarter, it's funky. That you know, line. it the yeah. bass, everything about it is funky, and that's what I love, and that's what we love. So. Yeah, and I know you guys are currently working on a debut album, full-length album. A lot of suspense about that because I know it's been part two. Oh, what? wait, is that really a thing? No. Oh, I was well, getting really excited. Might, exclusive. We might, we, might, we might add another person to it. We might, you know, add a couple more people to it. We we don't know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can you give us any details on the album yet? I know your Susan redheads Boyle's are curious. Be on this fire starter. <laughs> That'll be Sorry. very Thomas interesting. King. Uh, Thomas. Thomas! Too exclusive right now. It's not God. the time. Wow. Um, yeah, we're actually, uh, we're super focused on the EP, the fact that that just got released for us. Uh, I mean, we have other songs recorded that is for the full-length album that okay. no one's heard yet that we're also really excited about. Um, but right now, we want everyone to know about uh, what we have to offer from the EP. You know, we have Where Did You Go, Nothing Lasts Forever, Miss Firestarter, Take Me Home, a really cool remix. It's really awesome for us to have a remix that yeah. we can really get behind now. And, um, you know, for now... I promise you that will be enough, but when the full length album comes out, you will just be blown away. So is there a release date or a time around when you want to release this yet? Uh, in the springtime, we're, we're, pu we're still pushing the EP like Colton said. Uh, chickens come. Yeah. When the chickens come. When the spring chickens, chickens come. You know? Spring chickens. Yeah, yeah. That says a lot. <laughs> And speaking of Take Me Home, which is one of the songs from the EP, you released a music video for that song, which looked so fun to film as well as to watch. Um, so what was the filming process like behind the scenes? Were there any cool moments you'd like to share from that? Uh, it it rained, actually, the one day in California, Southern California, mm -hmm. that it decided to rain. It, oh, okay, Go two days. Right. Sorry, sorry, two days. So we had to push back the music video to the next day as well. And Aww. Um, it was a lot of fun though. It's a, it was our second music video. Our first music be music video being Hell Yeah, second one Take Me Home. It's a great experience. Like we learned a lot from the first one to the second one, and it was a lot of fun. The extras, the water. It was like the dogs, the lagoon, yeah. the dogs. I remember, I remember specifically when um, when we um, the extras came in because there's you know it's like a big party scene. We hadn't met really met them prior to like when we started filming. So I remember when um, the director Matt Stosky he was like, "All right, so act lively." Like, oh, you know, you guys are meeting your friends so when we were filming we were like hey I don't know you how are you have you been it's been forever because we had totally had to fake it and it was the funniest thing and after about five takes we eventually like you know got each other's names and stuff but that was kind of funny I remember that <laughs> well definitely a lot of cool moments and it, I guess it's interesting to know because it seemed like you guys were already best friends when we were filming that but so it now it's good fun. to know I mean, you the were, fun wasn't basically. faked we were having fun yeah, you know? absolutely and what are your plans for 2014 new year's is coming around soon so what do you guys have lined up for the new year well Obviously, uh, we're still promoting our EP all throughout the new year. I can't wait to uh, get some new shows under our belt. You know, the fairs are coming up in the spring and summer. summer and we're just shows. traveling to new places, maybe even going over Europe. You know, we've got a Spanish version of, uh, um, of our song, Take Me Home, called Contigo. Oh. And um, the, uh, the redheads in Spain have been massively nice to us. And, uh, you know, we may be uh, heading over there someday. And oh. also, if you don't own a TV, get one. Wink, wink. Am I sensing something that you're trying to hit no, at? So anything on TV? Just, I, I mean, yeah, I guess everybody should, should have TV. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you don't have a TV by 2014, you must, like, not like TV, so. <laughs> or Midnight Red. So. <laughs> okay, Yikes. So something Midnight Red related. That's what I'm sensing yes. from this. So everybody. Yeah, and so Spain, you mentioned. Are there any other countries you want to visit aside from there? Oh, Australia. <gasps> Brazil, South Argentina, America, South America Australia. in general. Oh, this goes on and on. The Italian redheads Israel. are always barking. <laughs> Israel. Up our tree. All right. Well, I'm sure all of your international fans are very excited to hear you name all of those countries. So anybody who wants to follow you on Twitter and Facebook and find your music online, where can they keep in touch? The best thing to do is go to MidnightRed.com. You can find all our social media outlets there. If you just want to go to Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, at It's Midnight Red is our tag. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. This has been really fun. And everybody watching, make sure you check out their self-titled EP. You could get it on iTunes right now. And subscribe for more interviews. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Tori. Bye, <laughs>